Hello everyone and welcome here to Nashville. Oh. Well, we might have had a car wreck or go out of the race, but welcome to Nashville for race number three of the IndyCar series. We're supposed to race in Atlanta this week, but Atlanta moved to next week in the schedule right above Indianapolis as Alan Matthews and Dylan Schwallenberg will lead us down to the green flag and the green flag is out and we are underway for the CMT 200. Here at Nashville, Country Music Television 200. We got cars up in the dirt. I think Dylan Schwanberg was one of the cars up in that higher groove. Tough break for all the guys that kind of got up there in the dirt groove. There's a, there's a layer of like a, it's not like a dirt layer, but it's a layer of like sand up against the wall. Right now, Alan Matthews is in the lead. Do you see how much these guys do have to slow down in the corners? This is only a one mile racetrack. It's not large. Somebody is now in the dirt of the back straight or turn three. And that was Brandon Fuller having to slow down a ton and a caution flag is out. Looks like a crash happened in turn number one. It looks like it was the 26 of Michael Haas. Look at the pass for the lead by Ben Crouch. Ben Crouch using every bit of the momentum. And there's a huge crash now in turn three. Ben Crouch takes the lead. The 20s up against the wall. Oh, huge crash. It's taking place here at Nashville. Oh, somebody got turned in the grass. Oh, look like they were avoiding a crash. Looks like Eli Bright. I don't know if he gets turned. Eli Bright comes down on a faster car. Look at this. If William Flickinger had a ton of speed, comes down and gets into Eli Bright. And they go in there and just take out. I think that was Alan Matthews' pole sitter. Yep, it was. And then you see other cars start of trying to avoid and crashing. And the one on the front straightaway took a lot of good cars with it. I don't know if Will Goss got any bit of it. It looked like he missed it. Did Will Goss miss it? Oh, he... I think he slammed right in the back of Brennan Fuller. Well, Luis Hernandez, he miss it? He gets on I didn't even hear a dent in that one, so I don't know. But right now, Ben Crouch leads here at Nashville. Look at all these cars coming out. Only one car retired, and that's the 33. Uh, who's the 33 of Tim Randolph? Retired out of this event. Oh, he got the wall a ton. Oh, you can see he had already had a big problem. That car was not going to roll. Right. He must have broke the suspension. Tough break for him. Now the 20 has also retired from the event. The 20 being 20 of Patrick Stewart. So, some cars getting damage repaired, and we'll get you right back to the green flag. Green flag is about to come back out in the air, and we are green again at Nashville. Ben Crouch pulling away. Ooh, look at all these cars lined up. Oh, look at this. 
Look at Luis Hernandez making moves. I'm trying to make moves, but a battle for the lead between Joey Murphy and Ben Crouch. Look at Murphy driving it in. These cars can't run wide open. This is one of the races where they can't run full throttle. At, due to its steep corners, I mean, there's a lot of banking, but it, uh, you can see when they get up in that high groove, there's no grip up there. And there's a crash in the back. Coming to the stripe, I think Eric Dobbs is, or Jeff Bright is the leader. Caution is out on the racetrack. You can see Melody Bowers is destroyed. Oh, just a little contact, and around they go, up into the wall, and William Flickinger is in the fence, and Will Goss up against the wall. Ooh, Will Goss has to hit the brake. Doesn't make any big contact. You see Melody Bowers blowing up. That top groove is not working. A lot of guys are saying the top is really bad. No series has ran on Nashville Super Speedway in about five or six years, so that's probably why it is as bad. I think Sportsman ran here a couple seasons ago, and it was the same way. The top was not good. But we'll get you back to green flag action in just a moment. Lights are out on the pace car. Is Jeff Bright getting ready to bring us back to the green here in Nashville. Second restart of the day, green flag back in the air at Nashville Super Speedway. You can still see they have all the Bush Series contigs in the grass, so it's been a while since anything has raced here. Oh, up on the top side, you don't want to be up there. Oh, driving it in turn one and two, or three and four. Kind of looks like some guys have got a bigger advantage. Joey Murphy trying to push Luis Hernandez to the point. Jeff Bright throws a block. A night, oh, Matt Haas. Luis Hernandez trying to battle and get by Matt Haas. That's a battle for second position. Dylan Schwalmberg falling way to the back due to being up on the top. Joey Murphy making contact with Eric Rodriguez. Eric Rodriguez to P3. P2, actually. The leader of the race is Luis Hernandez. We missed the pass for the lead. We are three wide down the back straight away. Can Eric, is Eric Rodriguez going to run down? Look at Ben Crouch flying back through the hole. Ben Crouch making a humongous move. He goes by Luis Hernandez in one corner. Luis is riding right up around the top. Eric Rodriguez dropping back now. Trying to get you through the field here. 23rd, 24th, 25th. Joey Murphy really slow. Don't know if he's got a problem or not. Will Goss in the wall. And back to the lead is Luis Hernandez. This is Eric Dobbs now moved to second spot. Oh, never mind. Look at this pass on the inside lane by DJ Curtis. It's like these guys are using push to pass in the corners and flying down the straightaways. Oh, oh, the Weez is way high and he's up too high. And the Weez Hernandez dropping to the back. Oh, he's overdrove turn one and two. Look at that move. Jordan Carter. With a huge train of momentum. Somebody's in the wall slow down the back. That is Zach Flickinger. Or down the front, actually. 
back to the lead. There's DJ Curtis and there's Eric Dobbs sitting in P2. Car running about fifth in line here. That's Jonathan Zorlian trying to make a move. Eric Dobbs trying to make a move. Three wide for the lead. We've got cars everywhere in turn three. DJ is going to try to throw a block or try to take some of the air off of Zorlian's car. As they're catching Jordan Carter, who's been long gone for a long time. Zorlian driving in hard. Using a huge run. Back to the lead. Jonathan Zorlian and a caution is out. Eli Bright, Alexander Rowe involved. Oof. And look at Eli Bright stopping. Let's see what happens down here in turn number. He got he gets a huge run. Oh, he's gonna tag. We tag Joey and then got Alexander Rowe. And he went head on the wall. And Alexander Rowe was just a bystander. Got destroyed and all that. Will Goss will avoid him. He's going to come around. He's dropping a lot of oil. Johnson Zorley in leads, and we're going to get you right back to green flag action. Welcome back. 28 cars still on the racetrack. Here at Nashville. Green flag back in the air. We are back underway at Nashville. Zorley again, a somewhat good start over Jonathan Reigns, the point leader. Reigns driving it in. Ooh, DJ Curtis almost making contact with Jordan Carter. They almost do. Look at their Sam Curtis. There's Eric Dobbs. A lot of guys are probably liking this. A lot of guys are probably liking this race more than the other one. Oh! That was a hard hit to the wall there. Let's see. No caution. And I think some of the guys back here, like a Luis Hernandez, does not want to see a caution. Jordan Carter. Hard up in the fence. Who's the leader of the race right now? DJ Curtis really slow. Jack James pulling away. Jeff Bright right there behind Luis Hernandez. Marched all the way back up to fifth. Let's see where... Where is Eric Rodriguez, who was in the front of the field early in the race? Jonathan Reigns has dropped back to P20 after starting second. Look at Joey Murphy back to eighth. Dobbs and Murphy almost make it slight contact. The lead is still Jack James. Cars are running three and four wide. There's Eric Rodriguez sitting P4. Dobbs sitting P6. Oh, Eric Rodriguez gets a tiny bump from Ben Crouch and it shoots him up the track. Almost into the almost into that 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 patch of like sediment that's sending cars up and around. As no one is running down, Jack James caution is out on the racetrack and turn three. The leaders did not take it. Tacully. Oh. Ben Crouch trying to make a charge. Ben Crouch is going to make a pass. In the final stages, he might win the race off that pass. Ben Crouch. The rest of the field apparently had taken the caution. Let's see what happened to Joshua Sakali. See what happened to Joshua. Joshua's just riding around, minding his own business. Caution is not out yet. Did he drive in deep? Oh, he's going to get contact. Yep. It's ran over from Philip Parker. And around both of them go, and they go hard into the wall. Here at Nashville. 
So will we get back to green? We'll find out in just a moment. Or has Ben Crouch scored his first ever IndyCar win at Nashville? Pace car peeling in. Getting ready for the final couple of laps here at Nashville Speedway. Green flags on the way back underway at Nashville. Ben Crouch trying to get a huge hit of momentum. You just don't want to get too high. If you get too high and get up in that sediment patch, you're going to go straight to the wall. Look right here. Look at Andrew Plank. Plank driving it in. Here comes Zorlian with a head of momentum. Zorlian almost makes contact with Crouch. Two to go late in the race. Zorlian pulling away. Does Eric Dobbs have a shot to win? What about Jeff Bright? Two Penske's. Two Penske Chevrolets right here on the charge. Into turn three. Look at the pass. Eric Dobbs to the lead. White flag will be in the air this time. But no, it's Jeff Bright in the lead. Jeff Bright to the lead. Does Jordan Carter have enough to make a move? These final corners have been the where everyone goes crazy in the final corner. Turn three and four is the worst that has that sediment. Here comes Andrew Plank. Full head of momentum. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. Out of three and four for the final time. Drag race to the stripe. Andrew Plank will win by one one thousandth of a second. One one hundredth. A thousand, yeah, one one hundredth of a second. Andrew Plank wins at Nashville. We're going to try to get you a better finish, better view of the finish. He, Jeff Bright battled hard back up there. Jeff Bright battled really hard. Look right here. Oh, the comeback. To the stripe. Look at this right here. That was a really close finish. And a photo finish in the IndyCar comes down to Andrew Plank edging out Eli Bright, or Jeff Bright, excuse me. It's going to be Plank, Bright, Crouch, Fuller, Dobbs. Look at Dylan Schwallenberg. I think Schwallenberg's going to come home top five. P6 for Dylan Schwallenberg. And it looks like Luis Hernandez is going to finish 20th. Eric Rodriguez, a guy who was really strong all race long up in top five, P25. So some cars not having great finishes. Great photo finish, though. Here's your official standings of the race. You see Sakully ran out of gas because his fuel cell was leaking fuel. Plank, Bright, Crouch, Fuller, Dobbs, Schwallenberg, Zorlian, James, Curtis, Hyatt, uh, Reigns, Flickinger, Haas, uh, Zach Flickinger, Joy Murphy is your top 15, and here's the rest of the field. So we will see you guys next week from the Atlanta Motor Speedway till we meet you then. Peace.